Hello and welcome to this new Hostify video. My name is Alex and today we're going to look at link aggregation on the UISP switch. So we published a video a little while ago about link aggregation on the Unify switch line. We also have a video that also explains what link aggregation is, um, how to use it and how to set up within Unify. So we're going to do exactly the same for the UISP. Now in the Unify guide what I did is I used two Unify switches together. I used two Unify 150 watt switches and aggregated them together. So I um, created this setup in the end. So I got port 3 to port 3 and port 4 to port 4. So I don't actually have two UISP switches. I've got one Unify switch that's already been pre-configured to do lag and I've got a USB switch as well. So we're going to do this setup here. So we're going to have a USB switch that we're going to turn uh, link aggregation on. I'm just going to link it to our Unify switch. So you can Link aggregation is one of those standardized network protocols. So you can use, in theory, any network switch that's managed and link ag them together. So we're going to do that and see see what it looks like. So I've got my UISP switch in my Hostify powered UISP controller here. I've got it linked to my Unify switch on port 8, just on DHCP. So we're going to go through and set up link aggregation, ready to link it over to the Unify switch. So, so the first thing you need to do is use the old device details. So the link aggregation configuration is not yet exposed in the sort of the new GUI that you can see here. So we're going to go to the old device detail. This sort of got the old overview of the devices here. So we can see my switch was restarted, there's the ports and that sort of thing. So I want to I want to link together on my guide. I want to link together port three to port three and port four. So I want to do port three and four that are aggregated together together. First thing to do is click on this, you hover over the port, you want to be the master in this aggregation. So you click on lag here, and these numbers, 1 through 8, are sort of ID numbers for that particular lag uh, instance you've got there. So I'm just going to enable this number 1. So it's, now it's adding lag 1 to port 3. And then I want to do port 4 as well, so I want to do lag 1 as well. So what that's now going to say is port 3 and 4 are lagged. They're lagged together. Yes, yeah, so that's that's basically ready to go. It's sort of removed those from their settings and done it again. If I go back to the old page, I'll see port three and port four there. So there's no real visual indicator to see to tell you that it, those are connected together. But I'm just going to connect this unify this USB switch to my unify switch, and we'll explore what that looks like now. So I've now connected my Unify switch to my UISP switch, and we can see here there's two gig ports that they're up. They're both on lag one. Yeah, apart from just seeing that, apart from just seeing these lag buttons here, uh, that's the only way you're going to know that they're lagged together. There's not much information apart from this log here. So in the logs, it's now said the port three and four connected. I had my old uplink in port eight, and then lag one is now being connected. So that's the only real way you're going to see. There is more detail within Unify. So if I go to my Unify controller now, I've got my US8 150 watt, go to ports, and there's actually this little icon to say that port 3 and 4 are lagged together. So I've got, like in my little diagram, I've got the USB switch and the Unify switch connected, connected together via lag. The other way is if you go to here and then go back to the Unify switch, you can now see that there's a lag connected on, on this port. Um, you can't you can't configure the the lag on the new GUI, but you can now see the status in here. But I'm to go back to the old one as well. So what's the benefit of connecting two switches together using lag? So once you have two or more network cables connected between devices, this allows for a lot, a lot better network redundancy. Also, combining two cables together adds increased throughput. So I've got these are one gigabit Ethernet um, connections, and connect, connecting them both together gives us one uh, two gigabit two gigabits of capacity, um, and that is four gigabits for Gplex, so it handles two either way. At the moment this is the only UISP device that supports lag and there are more once more devices are released we expect these to support link aggregation as well. So that's how you set up link aggregation on the UISP switch. If you need any more information the link to this blog post will be in the description below and you can find out more about Hostify at Hostify.com and contact Hostify at support at Hostify.com. Thank you for watching this Hostify video. My name's Alex and we'll see you again next time.